Hey guys, welcome to the 42nd Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at the hole tool. So once you have something to drill into, just go ahead and open up the hole tool right here, and then go ahead and place your hole. I'm going to be using linear placement, so I just need to select a face and then two reference lines. And then once you've placed your hole, go ahead and change the hole type down here to a tapped hole. And a tapped hole will basically just allow us to add threads to our hole. And threads are basically just the little lines or grooves in a hole that will allow you to screw something into it. So if we wanted to be able to screw a screw into our hole, we're going to have to use a tapped hole. The first thing that you need to do is basically just select the thread type. And the thread type is basically just the standard. So once again, ANSI stands for American National Standard Institute. And I live in America, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. The next thing we need to do is just select the size of your hole and I'm going to make the diameter of my hole a quarter inch but you can make the diameter of your hole anything that you want you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want but again I'm just going to keep it at a quarter inch and then you need to select the designation and the designation has to do with your threads and how far apart they are from one another so this quarter inch right here basically just means that the diameter of our hole is a quarter inch and then this 20 means the threads per inch or the pitch so basically how many grooves there are in one inch. So if we want our threads to be farther apart, we're going to go ahead and keep it at 20. But if we want them to be more tightly packed and closer together, we're going to make it 56. So this would mean that there would be 56 grooves in one inch, and this would mean that there are 20 grooves in one inch. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at 20. And then we need to select the class. And the class basically just describes how tightly a screw will fit in our hole. 1 basically just means that it will be a loose fit, 2 means it will be a normal fit, and 3 means it will be a tight fit. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at 2 since that's the most common. And lastly, we just need to select the direction, and I'm going to go ahead and keep that at right hand. And one more thing that we have to look at is this full depth right here. So if you want the threads to go for the full length of your hole, you're going to go ahead and keep this checked. But let's say you only want the threads to go down a quarter inch then you go ahead and uncheck this and make this value however far down you want those threads to go. So I said we only want it to go down a quarter inch, so we'll just make it 0.25. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. And we see that we now have a hole with threads in it, and we see that those threads only go down for um, about a quarter inch right there. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.